Yeah, it's, it's always an awkward step. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like. Like, I feel like ideally this would be like at a bar and we're like already two drinks in and then we like exactly. push record. Yep. But I don't yeah. trust myself in that scenario to like have a good conversation and yeah, lead a yeah. good conversation. No, I feel so you. that sounds like a disaster. But my guy, Caleb. So we are vocalists in Ohio scene. Yes. And then we're doing guitars and backup vocals and anthems. Yes. Is it like an yeah. official vocal thing? Is it backup? Uh, I- yeah. I mean, I, I record vocals like harmonies and stuff so i would say that yeah guitarist vocals is fine yeah gotcha. but uh dante's the lead vocalist so okay just in the background yeah it's fun that like there's good. like the <laughs> the more pop punk i guess I think it's rock is what you officially call it like yeah, sad boy rock yeah, yeah i have a hard time like putting my finger on like what to call us like specifically but it's in the pop punk rock area emo it's fun having that yeah, and then you have like yeah. the heavier outlet of no eyes right scene. yeah has that always like was that like an organic thing to have? You always had this kind of softer side of you that you were looking for a home for. And then it feels like anthems just <laughs> came together so fast. It has been so busy this year. Like, yeah, how did that come yeah, together? Yeah, yeah. It was kind of random. Um, I've been like mainly focused on like, you know, vocals and no, I have seen, but I actually started on guitar. Okay. Um, that was like my first like music venture. Gotcha. Um, but I've always had like that soft spot for like emo, like rock, pop punk we music. Yeah, so. Yeah. You know, like, it was, like, kind of just, like, an opportunity arose. Like, I saw uh, Sean make a post on Facebook looking for guitarists. I was like, you know what? I was like, I kind of want to full send. Let's That's do it, fun. you know? Yeah. But, yeah, it, it has been, like, a fun experience and, like, just, like, being, like, a front man for so long. Like, it's kind of nice just, like, playing just, like, lead guitar mm-hmm. and maybe doing a couple singing stuff you know, here and there. But yeah, it's just kind of nice to have like something to change up the pace from what I've been doing for so long. It uh, definitely like re-sparked my like drive for music for sure. That's really interesting. I hadn't quite thought of it until you just explained that. But like for me with music videos, it's like, yeah, I just did a country video recently and it was Mm -hmm. the best like breath of fresh air. Go do this thing. And I came back to like heavy videos and it was like, okay, cool. Now this whole breath of fresh air. And I never thought about how if you're in a band, you don't always get that because you're just fulfilling this one creative outlet and then you all of a sudden get out in this new outlet it's like oh there's this whole part of me that i not necessarily suppressed but had to kind of lean away from uh Mm -hmm. to get this other thing to work and it's cool that you were able to yeah find an outlet for that other thing yeah hop on and make it happen um so that all came together pretty quick it feels like i know you guys are have been busy i don't know how much there is to talk about or how much you can talk about at the moment (laughs) yeah well we released um a single last summer Mm -hmm. which we wanted to hold off a lot later just because we knew that there was gonna be like a long pause in between Mm -hmm. any follow-up just because like we're a new band we're starting pretty much from the ground up so yeah we dropped flow and we're like we just got a mix um for the next single, which is coming out very soon. I can't okay. say when yet, sure. but uh, it is coming like literally right around the corner. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, we're really excited for that. Um, you know, it was like nice being able, like we got like, I think like 10 shows for our first year and we played like pretty much just New England. That's awesome. But they were great shows. We had a lot of fun. Uh, opened up for like two bands I listened to for like a long time, um, like years. So that was like really cool to be able to do that. Cause like, I wouldn't be able to play with those bands with no, mm-hmm. I had seen it just wouldn't happen, yeah. <laughs> you know? So it, it was, it was cool. I but, love the um, fun that you guys have with, I think that shows through on stage. I mean, there's the marketing that I love of your mom's yeah. favorite band, which I think <laughs> yeah, is just, yeah, just like great tag. Stuff. But there is like that, that fun that comes through on stage. I think it fits the vibe of like, there we go. it is kind of sad and somber, but it is also fun and party. Like this isn't yeah. a sit here and mope around party. Like, yeah, let's have fun. Let's <laughs> enjoy this gloominess kind yeah, of. Yeah. Very sad music, but yeah, we try to like offset it with like a, you know, more brighter tone you know um especially with like the next video we got coming it's Mm -hmm. uh definitely brings out our goofy fun side so it's Um, out of the box for sure i'm i'm reading into i did some digging through all social medias and i've seen the posts of the uh, guy in like a medical coat it looks like and there's some orange dry paint (laughs) and whatever and i know you can't say anything but i'm excited to see how that all comes together and yeah of course i was zooming on every detail trying to figure out all the camera settings and and figure out all i could so i'm excited to see that happening um I know you mentioned, or I know there's also an album in the works. I think I saw that you guys had recorded something. Uh, is that still still kind of the plan? Is the album EP? Uh, the- for Anthems, we, are, we have a full EP recorded, um, which, you know, that will be coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, we will be announcing a date for that, um, you know, probably very soon. Mm-hmm. Can't say any specifics, <laughs> course, yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, definitely coming right around the corner, uh, full EP. 
Um, but yeah, if you uh, you know have like seen us live or um, do plan on it, we play all those songs live. Awesome. So yeah, you can get a taste of that earlier. They you know? exist somewhere. <laughs> they yeah. exist. Yeah. Hell yeah. So you mentioned that uh, Sean Vogel kind of starts this, or you hopped in with him. To me, it seems like anthems caught jet fuel and just yeah it's played a ton of shows out of nowhere yeah, how did it yeah. kind of come together yeah from your perspective yeah so i was actually the last member to join um okay. i was uh they were i think they started like last let's see i'm trying to think of like the time i think like winter of 21 they like kind of got together and started anthems um and then i Got asked to join like March, April, I believe, mm-hmm. um, of the following year. So, um, a lot of the groundwork was like already done. Like a lot of the songs were already done. Uh, they just needed someone to you know hop on that lead role and play guitar. And then um, the vocal thing was I wasn't expecting to do that either. So mm-hmm. that's also like a learning curve for me because yeah, you know, playing guitar and doing vocals was not something I was used to doing. I mainly played guitar in my bedroom for fun so like it was yeah. just something that like i had to get used to yeah so but it, it's been a lot of fun to do and of course leaving the the front man role i'm sure must was also a transition of you've kind of grown up for as long as i've known you for the last couple of years yeah. doing the front man thing and living living that life on stage and off stage probably mm-hmm. also was it tough to figure out how to be a guitarist and kind of play <laughs> second fiddle i know it's not the quite perfect expression but yeah, yeah you're not the, the guy anymore <laughs> yeah yeah i actually prefer uh Probably not being, I'm mm-hmm. just, I don't know, I'm more of, uh, you know, I'm not like the greatest like speaker and stuff like yeah. that. So like, it's tough for me to like be on stage and like have like, you know, to say everything during the set, mm-hmm. uh, but definitely has helped uh, the experience over the years of me mm-hmm. just doing it. It's gotten easier, but like just, you know, playing guitar and being off to the side, that's like kind of like where I'm more comfortable at. That's what I'm trying to say. Is it, uh, in the context of saying something on stage, is it easier when you're on stage with the mic in your hand or is it easier at like the merch booth after when someone comes up to you? Like which, uh, I've heard people talk about like they're socially uncomfortable, but all of a sudden they're on the stage and they can kind of perform and forget about the social side of it. Yeah. And I'm wondering, yeah, how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely like interacting with people, uh, especially after like, you know, like our set or Mm -hmm. shows and stuff like that. Like that's why I'm, there it's like for like the community the music and mm-hmm. um you know people who just support our stuff i mean it's it's great to talk to them get to know them um but yeah i mean like as for like speaking on stage um yeah i mean it's just kind of something that i had to like learn to do definitely it's yeah. a weird we were talking about the bands and the, you have to be 10, 10, 10 good at 10 things to be good in a band exactly and yeah. it's a weird <laughs> thing of like yeah you signed up to yell into a microphone now you got to be a public speaker exactly kind of a motivational coordinating speaker yeah. and also being aware of like you got to promote the album but you also got to be aware of the guitarist is still tuning and fuck something yeah, up so yeah. you got to fill a couple more seconds there and make that seem planned and natural Definitely. and normal yeah especially when you're like running on like tracks and everything because mm-hmm. like it's just gonna start up automatically yep. so you gotta cram in like you know it's like you gotta think of what to say and in the back of your mind you're like all right how long do i have to say it yep. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah i don't know so it's just like different not having to do that I bet. So, and was No I Seen kind of like your first band experience? Has that been like yeah. vocalist there? And how long has that been? To me, it's been forever. Uh, but... 2016 is when we started. Okay, uh, we like came out like the gates with an EP. Like, we didn't like know anyone mm-hmm. like at all in yeah. the music scene. Like, we just kind of like like me and my uh, close friends for like since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. We like got together. We love metalcore. We we're like, dude, let's like write, let's let's, let's make a out. band, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we just like got together. We wrote an EP. We recorded that EP, and we thought like that was like the way to do it. Which like, it's not the only way to do it, but sure, it was sure. a, it was good for us. Mm-hmm. Like it was just kind of nice to start off like you know, like networking and getting to like play shows when you already have music like that's recorded and Mm. that's released. So that was helpful. Definitely. And what was that writing and recording process like? Like if that's a first band, I'm assuming it was someone's (laughs) bedroom, someone's garage, attic, like a pretty, pretty (laughs) modest setup. Definitely. It was, I think, I think we recorded some of introspect, like at, like at practice, like in person, but like that first EP was all in the garage, Hell yeah! you know, like just off of our amps, no recording or anything like yep. that. We just come in with our phone demos yeah. from the practice and yeah. Did I wonder if it's um, going to go back there sometimes of like, it's getting so polished and so clean. Like <laughs> it seems like inevitably someone's going to figure out how to just put a mic next to a cab and like that there'll be a rawness and a realness somehow that someone missed in a computer. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not an audio person, but like the way 
the way VHS and like vintage stuff has come back. It's like I can kind of simulate that, but there are still some things to a real vintage VHS camera that you just yeah. can't quite emulate. And I wonder if, yeah, we ever go back to at or recording somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that might be tricky, uh, just like with audio, because like, yeah. like everything's so like refined and yeah. perfect nowadays. Yeah. Like, uh, like video, I think that like a vintage look adds nicely. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if like people will like. I mean, people do like What's like record records, vinyls. Yeah, like vinyls and stuff. They have a so warmth yeah, that's to true. That you can't so, quite. Yeah, and I don't. Which to me means nothing. I don't know enough about audio to have any idea yeah, of why yeah. people like vinyls. Uh, but I know they exist in Polaroids and yeah. They look cool. Um, they do. They do. <laughs> I don't record. Do. I don't collect them, but they do look cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so now I seen kind of starts in the attic. And then how does that how does that grow? Is that you and then a couple friends you said? Or are those any of the guys that are still involved with it? Or has it been a kind of a changing cast of guys since then? Yeah, so we started off um, with... Uh, Danny on guitar and Austin on drums. Uh, we had um, like a fill-in bassist, mm -hmm. but then Sam joined for like the first um, like full-time member. Yeah. So like me and Sam are technically the like only remaining founding members of the band. There's still so. been a consistent nucleus. Yeah. 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 And then uh, Sam is like, you know, he's a great songwriter, still writes a lot for No Way Scene. Um, and then Lucas picked that up as well when he joined uh, he's mm -hmm. a great guitarist great drummer and he man does it times. all yeah so like you know we definitely utilize <laughs> yeah. that you know for yep. sure um, he's on my list of people i've got to have him on someday. there we go yeah you should <laughs> yeah that'd be great he's one of them um but hell yeah so then what is that yeah talk me through this you get in the attic you go to your first show you're talking about how you don't know anyone you're kind of a new person on that scene how does no i have seen now become a band that all of connecticut knows i think everyone in our scene everyone who's in the metal core thing everyone who's been at the underground like we yeah. know of you we've seen you how do you go from the attic to, yeah, now part of a community? Yeah, I think, like, persistence and, like, just playing out, like, as much as you can. Um, like, being friendly, networking with people, um, you know. Um, just, like, doing everything you can to, like, you know, make friends in the scene and, you know, uh, find people who like your music and then just keep working from there. Um, yeah, we've been playing, like, Webster shows for, like, years, like, consistently, like, usually, like, four times a year mm -hmm. like maybe not the last year but like you know years before that we were playing there like all the time so just being consistent playing like a market not too much but like yeah. enough where you can like build kind of like a fan base i guess and you guys have always kind of straddled the new york line i feel like you're always in upstate new york and exploring like that part as well not just hammering in hartford and milford and all these local local yeah. town shows. well we definitely want to like try to get out there like as much as possible i'm um, so like playing out of new england is always mm -hmm. like a big focus for us um but like we have mem like lucas lives in new york uh sam lives in new hampshire so gotcha. like we're all over i always forget that he so. lives up in the middle of nowhere <laughs> yeah, yeah he does <laughs> well, yeah we filmed some playthroughs and he, yeah, he showed up i think we started like 11 a.m and he told me he drove three or four yep. hours down i was like dude i'm so, oh, i would have yeah. pushed this back two hours if i knew that was the case my bad no they gotta drive like two hours um, for practice plus oh like, man damn. plus their soul dude the things we do to be committed to bands and like his commitment is driving and i'm sure that you have you're not driving two and a half hours but there is always some other version of like you wouldn't believe yeah. the last time i got to whatever relax in my favorite way because i'm committed to this thing right. or working on whatever yeah whatever needs to get done for the band thing yeah especially like nowadays like like you said we have to do like everything videos mm -hmm. like photography designs like all that yeah. stuff like tiktok and like all that stuff you're expected to do so much it's not really just about like writing making music kind of got to do it all how much of that but. is interesting to you like uh to me, I find that I'm interested in filming stuff and all the social media stuff is a, a task I need to take on. And yep. a lot of, yeah, a lot of it, a lot of the extra stuff feels that way. And to me, this has been kind of a hack of like, uh, I don't really want to do the social media stuff, but this is a way to create the content that lives there and in a way that is fun and interesting to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How does that been from a band perspective of you signed up to talk into a mic and now you've got 10 other jobs that you kind of inherited whether you wanted to or not? Yeah. I don't mind like doing... Um like the most I really do is like social media stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we like outsource like all like videos and photography yeah. and stuff. So that does help. But just like having those like skill sets are extremely essential. Um, definitely something I need to work on doing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, mostly just like social media and stuff is pretty much my role in writing the lyrics and vocals. So. Mm -hmm. And is that, uh, that was for no, I seen for anthems. You also contributing uh, lyrics and instrumentally as well, or is that mostly written and you're helping perform it and make yeah. it look awesome? Yeah, mostly like performing right now. Like like I said, like a lot of the um, 
the like music was pretty right. much written by the time I right. joined. Um, a lot more moving forward, I will be contributing uh, instrumentally. Exciting. But um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot that we do with um, anthems. Like Mark, he does the music videos, so mm. we don't have to worry about getting someone to do that. Um, Sean that, yeah. does a lot of like graphic design mm-hmm. work. A lot of the um, promo stuff that we use for like. Um, marketing and stuff like that that's all done by him so that's awesome yeah i just had a uh, uh, dan from chain twist was here and they were doing the same thing yeah. a lot doing a lot of stuff yeah. in-house that's rad yeah i think uh i guess it hurts my business to some degree <laughs> but i love it i love to see all yeah, the homies yeah. doing their thing and I, yeah yeah i think we can all it's cool to see what everyone creates and i think that there is a, a uniqueness that you get from the in-house creation of like yeah Definitely, once yeah. i come in there is a not a, a professionalism there's a way i do it and it's like it, it i don't want to say it dilutes the way but it changes the, the way yeah. things come out and there's a as purities doing something in house, I think it's really interesting right, to yeah. see what comes out of your brain. Yeah, definitely. Um, you said uh, playing out of state is exciting. I know you mm. just announced some new shows with no <laughs> eyes seen, so we got these new run of shows. Yeah, who are you playing with? Where are you going? Yeah, what's uh, going on there? We're playing with If Not For Me and Set For Tomorrow, uh, all out of New England shows. Uh, definitely want to try to get a New England show in mm-hmm. by like springtime, but yeah, that's what we got right now. So when are those shows? Or where are they? Uh, March 10th through the 12th. Uh, we're playing in Ardmore, Pennsylvania, uh, York, Pennsylvania, and Richmond, Virginia. There you go. So, yeah, I think the goal is to be on a tour long enough that you can't name all the cities. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's awesome. true. You even got those three cities. Though. That's a pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I would have trouble with those. Yeah, um, it's a good little run. Yeah. Uh, we played uh, Pennsylvania quite a few times over the last couple of years, and we played in Virginia once. So we're excited mm-hmm. to come back. Um, and then, you know, we got some tours lined up for the summer. So you know, we're definitely trying to play out like as much as possible but also like not like overplay either like the same areas so when was the last time you guys were on a run i assume with the 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 health situation the last couple of years yeah it's been yeah. a little bit different but yeah yeah when was the last time you're able to do that last run i believe if i'm getting the dates right it was in june uh, i was with second nature and as within so without we did um our first headliner at the webster Hell and yeah. then we went to what was it? It was Poughkeepsie, New York, and then Allentown, Pennsylvania. So that was the last run we did. So it's been a, it's been a little bit, a couple yeah. of months. What are you most excited it's for when you get back out on the road? Mm, I mean, just playing to like a new crowd, mm-hmm. um, like playing new venues, always fun. Just kind of changes things up, keeps it fresh. Um, you know, and like we're working our way out more towards um, like a more like a touring environment. But, you know, we're trying to just play out as much as we can. What about yeah. the the van life and the Walmart parking lots yeah, and the yeah. Planet Fitness showers? Yeah, definitely, yeah, is there lots a, of that. <laughs> what is there a part that you dread the most, or is there a gem in there that you get excited about? Of like, I I'm happy to eat out every night, or it's I don't know. I found that I almost enjoyed waking up at the Walmart parking lots, but after a certain point, because you wake up and it's like, oh yeah, I can get anything I want. Anything in the whole universe I need is ten feet away from right. me, and that's a pretty good situation to wake up. Yeah, in. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you miss? What do you enjoy? What stands uh, out? Honestly, I just miss like being around with my friends for days on end, you mm-hmm. know, just like the daily life, like working and all that stuff. Like it's nice to just kind of get away, play some music with your best friends and you know, just have fun, mm-hmm. let loose. Um, yeah. I mean like the struggles is always just like traveling or like staying in the van. Like when we recorded, we went to the studio, um, I think last month and it was freezing as hell like it was so yeah. cold in the van yep. we did one night in there and then we're like all right we're getting a hotel <laughs> we're like all right we can't do this yeah, now. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was rough um but yeah i mean we need to definitely sort some more things out for that kind of uh lifestyle i definitely, guess but yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the bandwagon set yeah we got we got a van okay. uh still working on a trailer and whatnot we're gonna be building bunks and all that good stuff for the run up ahead. So. Is that a, a you thing? Are you the are you the bunk builder? Or no, I'm not. I'm not the bunk builder. But we're gonna get together. And we're gonna figure it out. That's awesome, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. I love that. It'll be fun. It can't be that hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, and, dude. Yeah, my dad's gonna help. I'm sure he's yeah. uh, very uh, good with that stuff. He okay. built my uh, brother like a <laughs> like a living situation in his car. Oh, that's he didn't live out of his car for a while. Okay, it's um, a off topic, but uh, <laughs> no, I, I like the idea. I'm visualizing like the stepbrothers thing where you guys get the top bu- the yep. two bunks set up yep. and the bottom bunk just get some mush the first night definitely that'd but, be fun yeah, it's a, a speed bump a literal speed bump to cause that <laughs> issue but that's no problem i'm curious you mentioned that you started out playing guitar and then i i didn't know that i kind of always knew you as a vocalist mm-hmm. uh, is that still 
an outlet that you're active with? Are you still playing guitar a lot? Oh yeah, on your own, definitely. Especially like you know, joining the band, I've mm-hmm. had to definitely keep up practicing and all yeah. that stuff, learning everything I can. Mm-hmm. I, I've been definitely consuming a lot more like guitar content than like vocal stuff yeah. lately, just because you know I've been doing vocals for a long time it's a little bit easier once i have that foundation but i'm just trying to get comfortable doing both now so yeah i yeah. bet there's some overlap too as you uh, kind of put down one art form or focus on another one you all of a sudden come back and you can look at vocals differently or yeah. you learn something playing guitar and it's like oh i wonder if i applied that or how that would how that would influence it yeah definitely um, i i mean i've been feeling better than ever like at like practices and rehearsals so i'm just i'm just really excited to get out there and play some hell more yeah. shows so hell yeah <laughs> yeah hell yeah uh where does guitar start for you? Was that just something you taught yourself? Were you in class learning that? How did that come to be? Yeah, so I did take like guitar lessons like years ago, like when I was like a kid. Um, and then How I old? like four year old, ten year old? No, no, no. Like probably like twelve or thirteen okay. around okay. that time. I was hoping for a four year old. Just no, 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 no. So I'm, I'm no way a shred word <laughs> <laughs> at all. But yeah, no. Like just music's always been like something I've been interested in. Yeah. Um, you know, I was most, mostly into sports when I was, like, a little kid, but then, like, mm-hmm. when I got a little bit older, I started, like, listening to music. My older brother showed me, like, August Burns Red and Prada, like, yeah. like, like very young. Yeah. Uh, so that was good stuff. But, yeah, like, my, like, interest stemmed from there. I just got a guitar, started taking lessons. Then after a while, I just started self-teaching myself and... um it was like mostly like an on and off hobby kind of gotcha. thing. Like I would just play for fun, um, which I still do. It's definitely a lot of fun. Um, but I'm just trying to kind of take it to the next step. You know? Definitely. Were yeah. the lessons like more classical music theory skills yeah, kind of stuff? like learning notes and like how to like read notes and just like very basic stuff. And how much yeah. of that did you tolerate before you said, I need to go find <laughs> whatever, ultimateguitar.com? Or yeah, right. Going. Definitely use a lot of that. Yeah. I, I think I only did lessons for like a year yeah if so but was yeah it helpful like, um no nah, i probably learned a lot more from youtube honestly yeah yeah i, I think like for like the, i mean i didn't pay for it because my parents mm-hmm. but like sure. i was like 13 but yeah. like um yeah just uh, youtube's free you can learn so much stuff there's so many like knowledgeable people on there that can just give you like the best information that's it's all free essentially yeah. how i've learned camera stuff but there is film school yeah uh, which is always the interesting interesting question and i think a lot of people ask a similar question of like what is the the value in this and for a lot of people it's probably that you have a place to show up and practice every day right and that is a yeah, yeah and i like pushes you to like do it you yeah know, it puts you, you in the room with like other, whatever yeah yeah and everyone else in your class is also doing it so it motivates you and yeah. there's some uh tribal uh i don't know tribal excitement that you can all be a part of and you're all communally learning this new thing yeah uh, but i yeah i always wonder with music where i i feel like most people just kind of picked up and started chugging open notes and then figured out the eighth fret at some point yeah, and then the kind of fret. went from there <laughs> uh, so i'm always wondering yeah how that how that came to be yeah uh, and then when does that kind of become metal stuff you said like 12 13 is when you're picking up a guitar and it's kind of an on and off hobby when does that become real or something that's yeah more serious to you yeah um i'd probably say like around like age of like 17, 18, I started like, I got a, like a, a strat. Mm-hmm. Um, I started like, that's like kind of like what I got. Um, let's see. Like my passion for like playing guitar with like rock and pop punk stuff. Cause like, I love like metalcore, I love guitar. Um, but like, just, I don't know, something like about like the vibe of like, pop punk and like rock stuff it's just like a lot more fun for me to play mm-hmm. i don't know um i like doing vocals more for like metalcore stuff i like screaming mm-hmm. um it's a very fun thing for me to do <laughs> so but yeah i don't know i think like my passion started when i got into like pop punk and stuff gotcha yeah. what were some of the early i assume it's covers early on what were some of the early bands that you were emulating <laughs> early bands um like belmont knuckle puck boston manor yep all bands like that like earlier on like i was learning like devil Wears prada like plague stuff and gotcha. like yeah yes yeah, um like a bunch of like emery before their eyes was around that time i think um just like anything i could like listen to i was like yeah i yeah. can play that like let's go yeah but yeah and then where does vocals come in that's interesting i thought you were gonna say like guitar kind of was what took you heavier, but it sounds like guitar kind of kept you yeah, more musically central. And then, it. yeah, vocally <laughs> is what yeah, yeah. took you in. Well, I was, what was it? I think I was actually supposed to play, like, the initial thing was, like, me going to play, like, a rhythm guitar for an OIS scene. Okay. But I think that, like, shifted away when we needed to find a vocalist. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to teach myself vocals. Because, like, I was oh, like, yeah. I can do, like, guitar and I can do backup screams. And, like, I just ended up just doing Hell unclean yeah. vocals. That's and stuck. that's yeah. it. Yeah, so... 
But yeah, so like around like I think I started learning at like eighteen years old. I was like definitely like later on. Yeah. Um, learning how to like do unclean vocals. So you and more stuff or less like learned that. when no I scene starts. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it was like not like it was. I was learning like probably about two years before okay. we started no okay. I scene. So you had some head start. Yeah, there. it was a little All bit right. of a head start because I started with no I when I was like twenty, okay. or like nineteen ish twenty. So, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, awesome! And that grew in. You said you had an EP, and then what do you? How many records have you guys put out since then? With no I, uh, no uh, we've done what we got transcending introspect. Uh, we dropped a bunch of singles in between introspect and eternal lung. Um, so that's why we're kind of focusing on doing a full length. We've gotcha. done three piece. We think it's time to kind of get something that's a lot more serious out there. Mm-hmm. Um, we definitely think like our content is good enough to hold attention for an album. You know, it's something a lot of bands are shying away from these days, but yeah. we, we just kind of want to do it just cause we love albums. We love like the story that they can bring, uh, to like music and stuff like that. Like there definitely. is something there to yeah. create what you would want to consume. Exactly. Just to trust yeah. that if you want to make the album, it's like, yeah, it's not the trendy thing right now, but if you want to create it, then for sure right. we're passionate it about and, it, you know? Yeah. So like th- we feel like that will like, if we're passionate, it's going to be the best product it can mm-hmm. be, you know? And so. how is the, uh, how is the process of committing to an album? I think that must be a huge commitment after, I mean, you're doubling your work after mm. an EP. You're kind of doubling that workload you're used to taking on and doubling the creative output that has to get done, doubling the time in the studio, like everything scales so quickly there. Yeah, it definitely looks like like a mountain when you're like yeah. starting at the beginning. Yeah. But like, you know, if you just like chip away at it, um, work at it like small steps at a time, it usually uh, turns out really good. And like, it's not that stressful. Um are you guys we're, like we're a, just mainly just like excited. We're we yeah. just have like a like a spark with us. Just like we like really are excited about this album. We what think does it's gonna working be great. on an album mean to you guys? Like, is that the five of you in a room imagining something? Is it someone writing a drum or a guitar and sending it to someone else and saying, "Hey, is it a conscious effort for you to sit down and write lyrics?" Often, like, yeah, what does that process look like? Yeah, like the process for the other members in the band. Um, like our new guitarist and then uh, Lucas and Sam, they all write full instrumentals. Like they're all capable of doing that. So wow. they pretty much just write full songs. That's wild. And it like actually like works out like the, like the vibe of them are like very cohesive. Gonna, that's and really crazy. Yeah. It, it's kind of weird how it all works out, mm-hmm. but like usually like things get tweaked, you know, by like one member. So I that way, you like it here, kind of, here. yeah. So that way it kind of like blends a lot more, but yeah, I mean, they do like a great job of, carrying that aspect just for like vocals and themes and mm-hmm. lyrics. That's everything I do. Mm-hmm. So. so you're taking care of the top lines there and thematically yeah. kind of figuring it out. Are you referen- Are you yeah, kind of debating, sharing with them the top line or is it more of a presentation of like, this is how I think this would work best? Um, I'd say like it mostly, I, I, like it's hard to say because I feel like we're all just kind of on the same page. Mm-hmm. Like we love the same kind of music. So like, there's like rarely like a discussion of like adversity of That's like cool. like style or mm-hmm. anything like that like it like ever like we're usually just like yeah like that sounds like insane like That's hell cool. yeah you know yeah. but i don't know I'm definitely very fortunate to find like a group of guys who are just make music exactly what i like Interesting. it's yeah. just like nice I don't know. it's a weird one yeah. yeah for me i'm uh i feel spoiled oftentimes that i yeah. get to create alone in my own bedroom i don't have to negotiate <laughs> with as many yeah, people like, oftentimes yeah. and within a band i think it's a really crazy thing of like we need to be able to play similarly well we need to be able to create similarly well there's so many things you have to align on yeah. and i think it's a real real miracle <laughs> when you find Not, the guys that yeah you can honestly like for both bands yeah it's like never any like like there's never like conflicting like ideas mm-hmm. i just feel like both bands are like always on the same page and everyone gets along. So it's like really easy to work with. So I feel like both bands are filled yeah. with guys who've been through the band stuff enough. And they probably all understand that like, as much as this song needs to be the best one, we just need to keep putting out a song. And right. There's a really fine line there of, we want to create a masterpiece, but if all we do is create one masterpiece, then we never are going to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's a balance there of, yeah, figure out how much to create and when to just say it's good enough. Let's go. This is ready to go. Yeah. Um, Cause I'm sure we're all artists on some level. We can all, tinker with the thing forever oh, figure yeah, out for what years. that one lyric should be <laughs> that one word uh, should there even be a word here whatever that yeah. little thing is um yeah we're, already, we're always like ragging on sean because he's probably sent like for like the single cover probably like 18 edits <laughs> <laughs> like just the same thing we're like yo <laughs> i could feel him doing that for but, but no it's it's great you know like just like you know having people who are like so attentive to like yeah. the details and you know doing what they do yeah so. yeah 
Uh, fun fact: cool. Sean is filmed a guitar cover for me years ago. Really? It was like probably the first music thing I did, more mm-hmm. or less. Was yeah, I was learning guitar. I was interested in sports and learning guitar. Kind of yep. similar. Sounds similar to your journey. Uh, and at some point in there, I was filming guitar covers of myself on like my MacBook laptop. Yeah. And Sean got a new camera, and I uh, knew of him. He was in Set Sail at Sunrise at the mm-hmm. time, and I was a big fan of those boys. Hell still yeah. am. Shout out to all them kings. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we like met at his <laughs> met at his house in his backyard, and I like sat on my guitar case, I think, and <laughs> we filmed a cover of this camera, and it was there. You go. Uh, it was yeah, the, the same detail oriented the brain you're talking about of yeah, someone who just wanted to do the thing well and make yeah, sure that it was done well. That's good. Uh, and then for me, it was a big experience of I think probably to some degree it spawns the camera interest of like oh this is a really cool thing people do and it's a lot cooler than my MacBook is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, me and him go way back. He's a he's a king. That's Good awesome. Yes, he is a king. <laughs> um, awesome, my man. Uh, what should people look out for? Where can people find you? So I know we got yeah two bands. We got Caleb going on. So yeah, starting with <laughs> I like, got the anthems. What should people look out for? Where can people find them? What's going on? Yeah, there? definitely lots of new music coming out. Um, you know, we're kind of rolling out consistent shows. Like usually, like one or like one or two a month, I'd mm-hmm. say. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on like social media as we always do our best to keep everyone updated with like what's going on um you know we we drop our music videos on our youtube channel where we have all socials everywhere so yeah you can find us anywhere there cool so any pop punk sad boys we go to anthems Mm -hmm. no i have seen (laughs) is for who and what's going on there (laughs) well for who yeah so it's metalcore we got yeah metalcore metalcore vibes um yeah i mean you can find like it's pretty much same thing yeah just all of our music goes right to youtube uh, we definitely got a song coming right around the corner for No Eye as well. Um, we have a lot more announcements to come. You know, Perfect. we just dropped the show, so awesome. um, that was the first step. Gotcha. We got awesome. a lot more coming up. And those so. shows are February, you said? Uh, March. March, okay. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. And then, Caleb, where do people follow you? Where can people find you <laughs> online if they want to yeah. hear more from you? I mean, uh, I'm on Instagram. I barely use Twitter, but you can follow me on Twitter. I post cool. like one thing a year. That's a pretty that's good great. ratio. That's a pretty good amount. <laughs> but you can find me on... Uh, that's what they call limited edition. Dude. It should all be Caleb NEHS. So. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thank you for coming in. Thanks for coming to the palace. And I will see you soon. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished, sir. That was an easy...